Hello my friends, uh, welcome back. Today, quick update on what's going on in the fish room. The injured uh, red belly juvenile, I'm gonna give you a close up real quick. Uh, he's quilling remarkably fast. The scar is already closing up, it's turning gray, so you can't even see the flash wound anymore. The uh, red belly's ability to heal quite fast is obviously due to the you know lifestyle. I mean, you live among these guys, you don't have time to be injured or you become a meal. Therefore, you must heal quickly. Uh, their formidable immune system, etc., all plays into the part of how they feed, how they live, and obviously how they can you know recover from such horrific injuries. Today we have some additional uh, things that I have to perform. I'm gonna have to clean the Kariba tank, which I already did some most of the maintenance and i also got a new bulb new light for the oscar tank as you can probably see it is a little brighter <laughs> um a lot of projects on the way uh, i have mentioned before i'm looking for a big glass panel if anyone has one or knows of one let me know meanwhile we're gonna move to other projects uh today we're gonna feed the kariba live feeding for the kariba today so Stay tuned, my friends, and uh, catch you in a minute. Right now, it's time to clean the tank, and as usual, I gotta document it because these guys, these guys are something else. They're not red belly, piranhas. Close cousins, but I don't know. In my opinion, much more fierce, much more territorial. Uh, out of 10, four left. So there must be a reason for their, you know, very, very dominant and aggressive behavior. Look at him. He's coming right out. He's like, I'm actually like not sure if I should put my hand all the way down there. <laughs> but I want to do a good job cleaning so you guys can see tonight's live feeding frog. And or a chop actually, sorry. Either way, whatever lands in the net, actually. We'll see what, uh, what we'll end up with in here. But uh, for now, quick clean up. Not as good as it gets, right? I can't really see that well. I miss, always miss a few spots here and there. That's, um, hopefully that's acceptable. Totally turned my back on them. <laughs> uh, Kariba day today, Kariba feeding, and as usual, a little bit of commotion. You know, it's just to keep them conditioned to and acclimated to my presence. That way, uh, let's just say it'd be easier to capture them and perform any kind of uh, maintenance without causing too much panic. This sort of uh, commotion reward system, I've been using it on all the fish, including these little babies all the way to full adults and as you can see it's just a great way to get the fish acclimated into your traffic into your area into your habitat into your habits coming up next live feeding it's a surprise i'm not sure if it's gonna be fish or a frog or whatever so stay tuned my friends so there it is my friends um live feeding tonight a couple chores you know, staying productive, and uh, we'll see what it takes us. For those of you that are new here, my name is Marek, everyone calls me Bear Bearski, and this is my channel. This is my fish cave, and this is how I keep it natural. Uh, I have a couple other ideas for some new videos. 
that we were contemplating. I kind of draw the, you know, uh, ideas, the, the topics from you guys. And I really enjoy that because obviously you guys watch what you're interested in, even though I'm making, you know, the production, whatever, all of this. It's kind of nice when you actually use the feedback, participate, and then something good comes out of it. Everybody can learn, so to speak. Um, so having said that, uh, the next video, probably more about the mechanical works of how to set up a sustainable, self-sustainable habitat. I know I've mentioned it so many times, the filters, the plants and everything else. There's a little bit more to it. And obviously that has to do with, well, let's just say the way of uh, how you maintain such setup. Uh, setting it up is one thing, maintaining is in another. Uh, even though the work is substantially less on your part, there's still some factors that you have to kind of implement and take care of. And well, let's just say can't be uh, skipped, <laughs> can't be omitted. All right, thank you so much for being here. And uh, let's move to the phase two, right? All right, so here they are congregating, waiting for some food, but no feeding is coming. There's the guy that got bit, let him turn, see? He's healing quite, quite well, quite quickly. That's what I was talking about. The piranhas do have an ability to heal remarkably fast. So there it is, my friends. The adults have, well, as you said, recently finished off a frog, so they're good for a few days as far as uh, feeding sessions. And then now we're gonna be moving to Hi Zulu, move into the Caribas, which will be the highlight of tonight's feeding. And sorry for the glare, but it is daytime. I gave them some water change and, you know, that's pretty much it, clean up the front window. What's up? But they are ready to, well, let's just say represent. You guys will see, feeding will commence in the evening. I've seen some of the uh, posts and Facebook groups, piranha groups or whatever. I visit sometimes, you know, I don't know why. Anyway, <clears throat> some are pretty legit. I mean, some of these guys legitimately try their best to make a real habitat and it really shows. The fish looks awesome and exhibits, you know, its natural sort of behaviors. Anyway, the formation when they line up next to each other. We call it, or some of us call it, uh, assassin formation because they seem like they're just watching everybody's, you know, size and whatever lined up. Like, uh, I guess, uh, what would you call it? A squadron of airplanes or something before the attack. Anyway, fascinating fish, my friends. So well, I'm gonna move into the next phase. That would be phase four, which is after, you know, we source the food, create the commotions and we obviously now going into the feeding phase but right before that one more thing I uh, know that it's sometimes met with a bit of a controversy to see light feeding as such and I gotta say it is not without appreciation and not without well let's just say respect for the prey because it's given its energy and its being to another being, which is a circle of life, which we are very familiar with, but some of us forget. Some of us even resort to thinking that food really literally comes from grocery stores instead of farms or the wild. Uh, nature provides, and therefore it's best to kind of stay connected, stay in touch, be able to conserve, preserve for another generations, you know? So, <clears throat> Let's go into the piranha feeding, which as you have noticed and some of you have commented, it is probably best illustrated in such settings with light feeding in slow motion. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to drop. I think I'm gonna choose frog again because they are quite good at you know, the dismemberment, or maybe chub, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, 
gesehen. They are tearing it up. I'm just trying to capture it all. Zulu! It's enough. I think we have coyotes in the area. Ferocious feeding, my friends. Frog didn't stand a chance. Very quick. Sorry, my friends. <laughs> Zulu's on to him. Giving him a warning. I think it's all by the on. All over. Bellies are full. I think our reavers are done. Just the remains. Little scraps left. Ferocious hunt. There's almost nothing left. Just a little scrap. Show will disappear shortly. There it is, my friends. Caribas are all but done with the frog. Successful hunt and devourment. Till next time. Well, perhaps we have one more. Let's not forget we have a chub. And uh, 
I'm sure that the chub can find itself quite useful. Not sure whether it's going to be the adults, but perhaps the juveniles. 17 of them, so they have to feed a little more frequently than we just did a uh, chub feeding a few days ago. So let's drop another one in. Here comes the chub. Chub's in. Let's see if the juveniles will discover him. There they go. Ferocity. Amazon boiling in piranhas. Still searching, still searching. individuals feeding on the chub all by himself without sharing. <laughs> Well, let's try to get some cool footage right now. See what I can catch or show you guys some awesome footage. How they're actually coming up to investigate. Kind of feels like you're in the water swimming with them. Check it out. That's it for the juvenile, kind of awkward feeding. All right, my friends. Well, that went pretty well. <laughs> the Kariba never disappoint. I mean, that was a ferocious feeding. The frog got ripped up and devoured quickly. As far as the juveniles, you know, I think we've established already that they are quite unpredictable. And uh, every time we think that they've gained some confidence and some coordination and so forth, they pull a stunt like this. <laughs> I'm sure that they'll finish their meal quickly as soon as they discover there's more to eat. Um, but there it is, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next one.